How to start an export business in India? Meet Nico. She lives in a region where there are a lot of coconut plantations. A friend of hers, living in the Middle East, suggests that there might be a demand for coconut products there. The friend would help in getting the orders, but before that, she would have to set up a trade business so that she can execute the export orders. We will explain to Niku how to set up an export business step by step. Step 1. First, Niku must choose the nature of her business entity, either proprietorship, partnership, limited liability partnership, limited company, one person company, trust, registered society, HUF. She would also have to decide whether she wants to be a merchant exporter or a manufacturer exporter. Thereafter, the required registration would have to be done. To learn about each of these business entities and what the registrations are required, click here. Step 2. After step 1, Niku has set up a proprietorship called Fresh Coconut Products. Next, she must get an import export code. She needs an IEC because as per the FTDR Act of Government of India no person shall make any import or export except under an importer exporter code to get her iec niku needs to apply to the directorate general of foreign trade which is an attached office under the ministry of commerce the application may be made online on http colon double slash triple w dot dgft dot gov dot in for a fees of 500 rupees here niku should keep in mind a few things first only one iec is issued against one pan applying for more than one iec is a violation of the government rules also niku should remember that an iec is for a lifetime and no renewal is required for an iec step 3 next niku would have to register with an export promotion council epc or a commodity board the list of export promotion councils is found in the appendices to the foreign trade policy which is available on the dgft website under acts and rules since niku wants to export coconut products she would have to register with coconut development board which is the epc for all coconut products other than those made from coconut husk and fiber for exporting husk and fiber products she would also have to register with the coir board for some products one might have to register with more than one export promotion council step 4 next niku needs to identify the inspection certificates required for exporting her coconut products the export quality control and inspection act 1963 provide for the sound development of the export trade of india through quality control and inspection The Export Inspection Council of India would help in identifying the inspection certificates required for the given product. Now, Niku has the groundwork prepared for starting her export business. However, this does not end here. In international trade, there are many other technical specifications related to payment methods, shipping and documentation, etc. But Niku does not have to worry. DGFT shall explain them as well in the next set of videos not only that we will also discuss the benefits that the government of india provides to help exporters like niku stay competitive in the big world of global trade